In today's video, we will look at how we can open the folder location of an Excel file. This is especially helpful if you have a lot of Excel files open and you need to figure out where the Excel file is placed. We will look at three ways, starting from the worst way and ending up with the VBA way, where you can just run the macro and it will open up the folder where your Excel file is. So let's get into it. Right here, I have this Excel file open, which is sales data. The worst way is to go to file menu and in the info tab, you can click on open folder file location. And this will open up the location where your file resides. The next method is going to options, quick access toolbar. And here we will select all commands. And the option we are interested in is called address and document location. Keep in mind that this name or this exact option might be different in your Excel version. So you might have to search around to find it. Click on add, click OK. And you can see you now have the file location available. You can just press Alt and whatever value you press, it selects it and then you can control C to copy it. Now for the third and the VBA way, let's open up Visual Basic screen. I already have an empty module created. If you don't know how to add a module, just click on insert. And module and you will create a new module you can create a new module in your personal macro workbook or you can save the existing file as an excel sm i already have this personal macro workbook created so i'm going to add the macro within it All right so any macro starts with a sub that stands for subroutine and then we add the macro name you can give any name here as soon as you give the name and press enter you will see that it adds empty round brackets and an end sub within the sub and the end sub we can write our macro we will declare a generic variable called clipper to access the clipboard. Next thing, we will dynamically instantiate a new object representing the clipboard, Microsoft data object. This will allow interaction with the clipboard contents. The weird line that you see here, this refers to the Microsoft data object component in VBA is commonly used to create a new instance of data object, which allows interaction with the clipboard. Next, we will save the path of current workbook inside of a new variable call it s path that will save the location of our workbook so let's say if you want to check the location of workbook we can do that in immediate window so just add a question mark here and copy paste this and you will see we have the location of our workbook right so the location we get is our macros file so i think we should change this to active workbook and that should give us the location of our active file so let's change it and let's try this again Right, so you can see now we have the location of the Excel file. Next, we will set the text content of clipboard to the workbook path stored in SPath. After that, we will place the text content of clipboard into the system clipboard. So these two lines are basically copy pasting the location of our current file into the clipboard. Next, we will use shell to open up the folder. So let's add it. This line will launch Windows File Explorer, opening the folder specified by SPath. This is the exact syntax you will have to use. For more reading of shell inside of VBA, I will add a link to a web page. You can use shell to open up other files as well. You can open up notepad or an existing Excel file as well. Once we are done, we will add set clipper equals nothing, which will make sure that once we are done, this releases the memory occupied by clipper object. All right, so let's click on save, control S and let's run our macro. Okay, I forgot to declare as path as string, so I'm just I just added it. Click on run, and you can see we have the folder open where our Excel file exists. Alright, so this wraps up the three ways you can open up the folder of your existing or active Excel file. I will hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure to check out my other videos as well. And till next time, happy coding.